Good morning. Welcome to Payne's Picks Tuesday. Will Rogers, May the 12th. Race number one. This is a tough little card today. Um, there's some value here, but it's a difficult card. Um, but here's Payne's Picks, and we'll see how we do. Race number one. I like the number eight. David Cabrera horse. Uh, top jockey there. I'm a star. I'm a star is a five and a half furlong horse. He's been knocking at the door. Dropped down from 15 down to maiden seven. Uh, got off a step slow last race, but I think that's going to, if he gets out a clean start, he's going to be tough to beat. Followed by the number four. Gold Note. Gold Note is a Ray Ashford horse, Kenny Toehill. Uh, he's been stuck in the maiden claim. He's 0 for 16, which I don't like, but I think I think this is his chance. He was uh, first off the claim for Ray Ashford, and I think uh, he's pretty good with first-timers off the claim. Um, he's got some good numbers for me, and uh, he's got some pretty good breeding, too. So uh, I like Gold Note uh, as well, followed by the 7. Siak, 20-to-1 horse, Patrick Swan, J uh, Jason Ease is the jockey. Um, this horse has been dropping in class. He wasn't made in special weight down to made in 75. The drop in class could be the difference at a price in this field that's not that great. So, um, I'm going to give a shot with Siak as well. So, the seven followed by the 10. Danzig River, Andy Glad, Prusak is a jockey. Third time at Will Rogers Downs. Um, stretching out to a mile last time. Didn't do too bad. Stuck on the inside. Um, so I'm going to give him a shot as well. So I like the 8, 4, 7, and 10. 8, 4, 7, and 10. Race number one. Race number two. Race number two is a mile. Optional claimer, 15,000. Pretty good field. I'll start with the number seven on the outside. He is a, uh, he rates well. He's got, his numbers are good for me. Uh, LA Tower. John Arnett, 39% uh, trainer with Ken Calvies is a 21, so 21% uh, jockey. This horse can get the distance. He's been running well. Second race off the layoff. He was five wide flying last time. I love the seven horse, LA Tower. I also like the one, Fred Country's boy, looking for his fourth one in a row. Uh, Bermuda's is the jockey. Um, and he's moving up to class, but he's hot right now, so. Um, he's probably some confidence. I think it could be tough for its country boy. Followed by the five, or excuse me, the four. Satellite, 10 to 1 shot out of Smart Strike, Mr. Prospector, AP Indy. Now he gets off slow usually, and that's not good at Will Rogers, but he's got a lot of back class, and he's got like good breeding in it. This could be his chance with Kennedy in the saddle, get him out of the gate a little quicker. Uh, the four could be tough late in the game. And followed by the five, got Mojo, Indian Charlie. Uh, Triana, he's run some allowance races, handicaps. He's dropping into a optional claim of fifteen or optional claim of five thousand. So got Mojo could be tough. So I like seven one four five, seven one four five in the second. In the race three, I love the number two horse, Sasa Seta, Sasa Seta, Scott Young, Kennedy, in the saddle. Um, Medallia Dioro horse got good numbers for me. Got uh, he's got all of the attributes. He should be tough to beat at five to two. Uh, the two, I also like the three though. Joy in the journey. Uh, this horse had a good last race coming from o uh, Oaklawn. Uh, he's well bred out of Double Irish Tap. It's sunny weekends, a great dam. Um, and he had a thirty-four second blowout on April tenth get ready for this race so i think the three is going to be good, good as well followed by euro mandy euro oklahoma bred euro ears is a good breed bloodline so if you're in oklahoma and down in the south here euro ears and you see that as a sire it's pretty good down in oklahoma so uh, euro mandy horses run well run tough down here he rates well i like the four followed by the number one frontier woman floyd weddy dropping from twenty thousand down to 15 on the rail he's got to uh got to get get got to have a good ride if he gets a good trip he could be tough but he gets he doesn't start well he's just a little slow starter but frontier woman could be tough so two four three one and a third on the fourth 
This is a mile race made in 15,000. I like plenty of money. Plenty of money out of Munnings, Spice Down, Boundary, Great Bloodlines. Uh, he's been running tough. Um, he should be able to get the mile. He stretched out last time and ran second behind Spectacular Temper, which is a good horse. So uh, I like the one. Followed by the two, Little Shopper, Golden Sense, Into Mischief. My Into Mischief horses, got to love them. Uh, third time since the layoff. He's had some trouble last two times. I think he could be he could be tough as well, number two. Followed by the three, Pussycat, Pussycat, Tapature, Tapid Horse. Maiden Special Weight coming down in the Maiden Claiming Race. Could get a decent price on this horse as well. Second time off, second time of his life. You're going to see some good improvement from this horse. Um, got some good workouts. Scott Young, Floyd Weddy. Can't go wrong there. Pussycat, Pussycat. And then the six, Red Lingerie. How does that work out? Three, six, huh? Uh, William Martin. Uh, he woke up last race. He woke up. This is his best race, six to one. I'm just giving him a shot here. I think it could be tough, but we'll see. I like the one, two, three, six. One, two, three, and six in the fourth. In the fifth race, six furlongs claiming 5,000. The first horse would be the 10 U.S. Special Forces. Kenny Nolan, Floyd Weddy could have a big day today. Uh, in the slop last time, he came right behind my wise cat. Um, no match for that horse, but he was he didn't he wasn't embarrassing. He he, he ran well uh, coming from allowance back into a claim, five thousand claimer. He could be tough to beat the ten. Great breathing. Followed by the six. I am ready again. Fifteen to one shot. Off since January, coming from Sunland Park. Uh, John Arnett and Good Colby's are hooking up again, and I think this horse could could surprise people today. Uh, so at 15 to 1, I'm willing to give this horse a shot. Number 6, I am ready to get in. Followed by the 2, Hickory Hill, 8 to 1. Another good price here. I like him. I think he's got some good bloodlines. I think he's running pretty well right now. His two races at Will Rogers are, are good. And if he moves up at all, he's going to be right in this race. Hickory Hill, followed by number 1, Hollywood Square. Roberto Diodoro had a, not a, had a tor horrible day yesterday. I'm looking to see him rebound with some with some quality uh, races today. Eichel Berry in the saddle. So, 10-6-2-1. 10-6-2-1 in the fifth. In the sixth. One mile claiming 5,000. Uh, I like the 10 on the outside. And Kana, uh, Roberto Diodoro, Kennedy. Again, I mean, I think they're going to be tough today. They had, uh, He's got three wins in a row, looking for his fourth, two for two at Will Rogers, and Kana's going to be a beast today. Um, but the horse that could give him some problems is Diamond Legacy, right on the inside of him, number nine, Diamond Legacy. Um, he's been running solid as well. Uh, he was four wide last time, just got nipped at the wire. His three races at Will Rogers are good. Dropping in for a tag, Diamond Legacy as well. I also like the two. Sexy Dance, Stuart Shea, looking to hit the board and be nice to see some a new trainer get a victory here. Uh, Kenny Tohill out of Dynaformer. Uh, I got a hunch on this too. I just think he's he's good at six to one. I think he could be could be there. He's got to be able to get out of the gate though. That's his problem. But if he gets out of the gate, he could he could be a force in here, dropping down in class. And lastly, number one checkerboard, Brent Davison, Reed Rodriguez. Um, I just think on the rail he may stick around for a piece in the exotics. So I got the 10, 9, 2, 1. 10, 9, 2, 1. Race number 7. Start of the late pick 4. 5.5 furlongs made in special weight. I like the number 8. Reagan's Jet. Um, second race of his life. He's gonna see, you're going to see some great improvement. He had the lead in the fight in the stretch and just got nipped and for third as a beaten favorite. I think he's going to become running today. Reagan's Jet. Followed by the 11. Oki Logic out of Oxbow. Awesome again. Uh, second race off the layoff. Had the lead late in the stretch again. Ran off 21 44 at the half. He's got some speed and speed it. Will Rogers is tough, so Oki Logic will be there. Followed by the 4. Gospel Lucille. 5 to 1. Going to get a decent price. Um, coming from Maiden Special Weight. Uh, good, good breeding. Second race off the layoff. Like I said, could be the difference for this horse. He's consistent. You get Triana and the jockey. And followed by the number five, 
Bull Nasty, 15 to 1 first time starter. Something about this horse, I keep looking at him. He's got great workouts. Jody Pruitt in the saddle, she's pretty good with first with two year olds, uh, or excuse me, three year olds uh, out of tap it. So this first time starter could, could could be come out running. We'll see. Eight eleven four five. Eight eleven four five. Into the eighth, start of the late pick three, one mile claiming 7.5 K. Top horse in here, it might be my best bet of the day. Um, shell fire dropping from his allowance down to 15,000, down to 7,500. Been running consistently. You're getting Broberg and Cabrera. Um, they don't go unnoticed. So I love the six horse in the eighth. Followed by the one. In the deep, had a little impact four wide last time. Started from the twelve hole. I didn't think he liked it, but coming from the rail, I think this horse could be could wake up a little bit more. Pioneer of the Nile, Empire Maker, and Mine Shaft. Floyd Reddy, Jody Pruitt. Uh, I like the one. Followed by the uh, nine. Trabolski, Scott Young, Triano, ten to one. I think he's going to have a, a say down the stretch. Um, he likes Will Rogers Downs. Seems like his last two races he's woke up a little bit and he's dropping in his third time for 7,500. So 10 to 1, I'm going to give this horse a shot. Followed by the 4. I keep looking at this 4 and 8 to 1, Bernadidi, AP Indy. Um, Alex Hartman is the, is the trainer. Uh, 4 for 5. Will Rogers looking for his first victory though. SA, SA his name is. So I like the six, one, nine, and four. Six, one, nine, and four. On to the ninth. This is a five and a half furlong allowance, twenty thousand dollar race. This is a tough race. There's a lot of good horses in here. This is going to be a good race to watch. Always in the money. I like on top from the outside. Uh, Money, Spice Town, Dane Hill, um, Francisco Bravo's got a 259 second bree uh, breezes the last two times uh, getting ready for this race. So I think the 12 is going to come out firing. Um, it's going to be tough to beat. But it's a good field. So I also like the Sweet Carolina six horse, Chris Hartman, coming over from Oak Lawn. Um, he's going to go over to, he's going to be based at Churchill. So we, he needed a, they needed a race for this horse. So they gave him uh, Bart Hone. Um, gave Chris Hartman this horse to take him over to Will Rogers and I think he's going to be ready to they're not going to ship him for nothing so I think this horse is going to be tough as well in the 6 so I like the 12-6 with the one New Year's love speed on the rail is tough um, he was in tight last time to put a line through that one his first three races, second first, first wins by 5 so I think he's going to be solid as well so that gives me the 12-6-1 and then if I Got two others that I think could be tough. Little Red Vet, eight to one out of Constitution. Tis the law. The sibling. Tap it. Henny Hughes. Um, I just think this horse could could fire first time at Will Rogers Downs. Little Red Vet. And then the 10. First time on the dirt. His first time he's Drosselmeyer, distorted humor. He won his maiden his you know, his uh, first time start. Uh it was on a turf. Show, showed speed the whole way, but I'm going to give him a shot of the dirt as well. So I like the 12, 6, 1, 8, 10. 12, 6, 1, 8, 10. And into the finale. Good card, tough card, but it's a lot of fun. Still always fun. I like the number four in this uh, six furlong finale. No lack of memories. Number four, 12 to 1. How do you like that? Coming down, speed. If he can hang on, he could be tough. And I think he's been knocking at the door. Um, if he gets an uncontested lead, they may not catch him. Uh, other than that, he could be part of the, if he if if he gets a speed duel. Number four. I also like the seven crossing Dixie. Uh, here's one that could give him a run down the lane if there's if there's pace uh, set up this horse. It could be flying down the lane crossing Dixie. Followed by the eight rubber band man. I've seen this horse race. Doesn't really have a kick at the end. But if he's near there, and again, if there's pace, he could be a shot in exotics. That's the eight, followed by the three. Jenna's gun runner. Dina Thomas dropping in class. The drop in class may be the difference for this horse. Dropping in class at Will Rogers says a lot uh, with the type of horses they have there. So 
Um, Payton's picks been on a roll. Hope you've been following. I see some guys are. Um, let's get a shout out to my racehorse, uh, Lane Way. Can't wait to see him run in my Philly Four. Good luck.